talking to me, Jackie? I said you're a scaredy cat. I just don't like to... Boy, that was a good one. It's coming down harder than yesterday. I don't see how they can make us go to school in this weather. It would be criminal. The only way you get to school today will be in a boat. I'll see what Pop and Mr. Selkirk have decided. Now, if we only had a roaring fire in the fireplace. And a good book? Who said anything about a book? Yes. Yes. Is that yes we should go to school or yes we should stay at home, Pop? Now run along, Jackie. We haven't decided. Stand by while I talk to Irwin. Clark and Ogilvy are for closing down. Patterson thinks the students will get wetter and into more mischief if they don't go to school. What's the latest forecast? Continual downpour. Another storm moving in from the north. Valley Road is now a foot underwater. Oh, that's bad. Most of the children have to cross it. Well, cast your vote, Irwin. Personally, I agree with Patterson. I'm sorry, Mr. Selkirk, but I'll have to side with Clark and Ogilvy. Very well. You call the radio station. Teachers and pupils are waiting for an announcement. Mm. No, no, we haven't heard. Please stay tuned to KRXV, the station of your favorite newspaper, The Morning Sun. KRXV, the station of your favorite newspaper, The Morning Sun. I'm sorry, but... Oh, Mr. Irwin, I'm glad it's you. These phones haven't stopped ringing. What's the word? We have decided to close the schools. Hmm? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> the station wants me to make the announcement. They can cut the telephone into the broadcasting system. Oh, uh, June, uh, get KRXV on the radio. A very important man is going to speak. Who is it, dear? You'll find out. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, station KRXV now brings you the voice of Mr. Stuart Irwin, the principal of Hamilton High School. Quick, Joyce, come here. Your father's going to be on the radio. And him standing right there in the hall. My, my, this world we live in. Ladies and gentlemen, the school system of... Lay it on, Pop. We may have another Arthur Godfrey in the family. Oh, Jackie, please. This is a serious matter. Our school system holds the enviable record of never being closed by either epidemic or climatic condition. We're cooked. Shh, listen. But today, as much as we regret the move, the schools will be closed. Yay! Please! Quiet, everybody. Please, please. I trust that this emergency will not be treated as a vacation. In fact, I have a special assignment for all of my students at Hamilton High. You are to turn in essays entitled, How I Spent a Rainy Day. Homework? Gee, Daddy, that isn't fair. Oh, Joyce, please, not so loud. Please, Mr. Irwin, may I interrupt? With your permission, the Morning Sun would like to make a contest out of the How I Spent a Rainy Day essays. We will not only publish the winning essay, but we'll give a $100 first prize. Boy, can I use a hundred bucks? Thank you, Mr. Blake. I'm sure that all of the students will want to enter the contest. Are there any special rules, Mr. Irwin? None, except that I believe the essay should be factual. For example, one student can write about how he was a good neighbor, another how he gave a stranger shelter from the storm, things like that. So go to it, students, and remember, you are all reporters working for the Morning Sun. And thank you again, Mr. Blake. Goodbye. Mm, that's a very good idea. I still agree with Patterson. They'd be better off in school. So do I. Huh? Oh. <laughs> you know, I think I'll make a poem out of my essay. Yeah, how do you like this? Uh, what is as nice as a rainy day when the parents can rest and the children play? Jackie, where do you think you're going? Out in the rain where something will happen to me. You can't write about nothing, and nothing's going to happen in the house. You see what I mean, Irwin? I'll say this once, and that is all. You are not setting foot outside the door. But, Pop, no, I... No, no, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, safe from the lightning, the thunder, the storm, inside a house, all comfy and warm. Yeah, and that hundred bucks just flew out into the storm, Jackie. Fat chance any of us have a winning. Who 
what's come over you? Don't tell the kids, but I like having the day off, too. <laughs> The morning sun is having a how I spent the rainy day contest. So what are you grinning about? It's a circulation getter. With your permission, Chief, I'd like to write a rainy day letter for the Evening Chronicle. And what do you expect to happen in Mac's bar room? But I'll be at the Stuart Irwin's house. What? Uh-huh. I'm going to spend the day with the principal that closed the high schools. Why? He said something about good neighbors and taking strangers in out of the storm. Well, I'm going to be the strangest stranger you've ever seen and find out how much of a good neighbor Irwin really is. Well, toodaloo, Chief. Uh, save me uh, this much space in tomorrow's edition. System. Staying home from school isn't as much fun as I thought it would be. That's life, Jackie. Anticipation is always... Sue, David's mother called. She wants to know if the children can spend the afternoon over there. Oh, I don't know. Remember, I said... Uh... I know. I told her that you didn't want them out in the rain. Well, my mom's worse on that than you are, Mr. Irwin. Well, I guess it would be all right. Of course, I just laid the law down to Jackie. I don't care about going, Pop. Nothing will happen over there any more than it will here. Oh, please, Dad, I'd like to go. Well, all right. But you must promise to go straight to David's house. And when you come back, come straight back. I promise. Yeah. Come, George, we'll get your galoshes and your raincoat. Now, let's see. What were we talking about? Oh, yes, anticipation. I wish I could anticipate something happening. <laughs> maybe the roof will start leaking. Jackie! Or maybe the basement will get flooded. Jackie! Or maybe the house will catch on fire. Not a chance in this rain. <laughs> I just about run out of anticipation. <laughs> I'll get it, Pop. Oh. Yes? Hello, miss. Is there something I can do for you? Perhaps there's the kindness in your heart to give me shelter from the storm. Sure thing. Come on in. Huh? Oh. oh, hello. Well, uh, how do you do? I... <laughs> yes, um, uh, won't you th uh, Your daughter was uh, kind enough to offer me shelter from the storm. Oh, uh, of course. <laughs> well, my name's Irwin, uh, Stuart Irwin, and this is Jackie. Uh, my name's Joe. Joe. Joe, uh, I'd prefer just Joe. Oh, of course. <laughs> uh, may I take your hat? Yes, thank you. <laughs> Quite a rain we're having. Yes, certainly is. <laughs> yes, uh, well, I'll, uh, I'll go get Miss Irwin. Yes. Have a seat, Joe. Don't mind if I do, Jackie. Oh, Stu, after all you said, you've been out in the rain. No, I haven't. Joe brought it in with him. Joe? Yeah, somebody that came to the door. I guess his car is stuck or something. Oh, the poor man. He's ruining it. Oh, it's just been reupholstered. The rain was still coming down in buckets. I went to the door, and this strange man was standing there. Now, look here. Uh, uh, howdy, Mrs. Irwin. Hello. Excuse me for not rising, but I'm all done in. Uh, Look, Joe, the phone is in the hall. If you'd like to call your friends and tell them where you are. And have them pick you up. Yes. Mrs. Irwin, I haven't a friend in the world. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, that is too bad. Well, now, Joe, is there anything we can do for you? I yes, if you'd be so kind, something warm to drink. Warm? Why, of course. And uh, 
something dry to put on. Oh, yes. Why didn't I think of that before? You come on upstairs with me. June, make some hot soup. I guess you right are. Right away, dear. Yes. <laughs> Gosh, Mom, isn't this slick? Slick? What do you mean? Well, now I can write an essay about how we took a tramp in out of the storm. That isn't a very nice thing to say, Jackie. Sorry, Mom. But if he's not a tramp, I've never seen one. Change. That's Pop's new suit. And the tie mom gave him for his birthday. Hey, Jackie. Find out when we eat. I'm starved. Sure, Joe. down and dry them, he says. Something has to be done about that man. Mrs. Irving, Joe wants to know when are we going to eat. Did you hear that? He's taking over the place. Now, Stu, don't get upset. We can't just turn him out in the rain. No, we can't. Not in my new suit. Hey, Mom, Pop, come here, quick. Mom, Pop, he seems to think we've adopted him. Oh. So let me reassure you, there is no cause for alarm, but be sure there are plenty of batteries for your flashlights. And have a supply of candles on hand. And remember, even though the power is turned off, this station will continue to broadcast, and your portable radios and car radios will still work. Now, they're going to turn the lights off. There's only one thing I hate worse than thunder, and that's thunder with no lights on. I sure am glad I won't be out in this storm. Oh. Well, we'd better see if we have plenty of candles on hand. Here now, let's see. Mom wants two batteries, a dozen candles. Open the cocktail. Hand me the dough. Hurry it up. Thanks. Hello, hello. Did he get much, Mr. Wilkes? Plenty. Hello, hello. Oh, I forgot the phone's out of order. Uh, David, please watch the store while I go for the police. Golly. Gosh, how exciting. You know, I'm going to forget about my poem. I'm going to write how I saw a store robbed in a rainy day. Me too. Shay, Joyce, we'll split the first prize 50-50. We'll return to the Irwins in just a moment. And now, back to the Irwins. No more coffee. I've had plenty. That's what I thought. Take it away. Well, I'll have some. That's enough. Boy, what a meal. Mom, you're the best little old cook in the world. You know something? You deserve a kiss. Hey, I'll take it easy, Buster. It's purely platonic. <laughs> well, I guess I'll go stretch out on the couch and uh, have a snooze. Oh. <laughs> June, we just have to get that man out of here. Who knows? It may rain for days. Quiet, Sue. Maybe he'll go to sleep. That will be somewhat. <clears throat> Please, Pop, may I use the car radio to hear my program? Well, for a little while, but don't run the battery down. Take a flashlight, dear, and don't forget your raincoat and rubbers. Sure, Mom. Oh.
Mr. Swanson. The man who held up Wilkes Grocery Store is still at large and believed to be hiding in vicinity. Mr. Wilkes Grocery Store. Repeat on description. Hold up man is believed to be in late 30s. He was wearing gray suit and felt hat. Appearance when robbing store leads police to believe he had been walking in rain for some oh, time. Oh, Curly! Joe! June, see if Joe's clothes are dry. I'm going to move him downtown to a hotel. Ah. Ah. Yes? Mr. Wilkes' grocery store was held up. It was? And the hold-up man was wearing a gray suit and a felt hat, and they think he'd been walking in the rain a long time. Do you, do, do you think that Mr. Joe Joe is, is the hold-up man? Joe. Now, now, don't move anybody. I'll call the police. your pardon. I lost my way. Do you think I could come in for a minute and dry off? Welcome, friend. Welcome. I was never so glad to see anyone in my whole life. Yeah? Shh. Follow me. With your help, the three of us ought to be able to do it single-handed. Yes. Well, I never expected to get mixed up in anything like this. But <laughs> oh. oh, oh, Joe. Uh, we thought you were taking a snooze. Uh, I, uh, oh, this is my next-door neighbor, um, Hank. Hank, um, uh, uh, uh Smith? Pellucci. Pellucci? Yeah, Pellucci. <laughs> Hi, Hank. Hi, Joe. Glad you stopped over, Hank. Now we have a fourth for bridge. How's about it, Pop? Oh, fine, fine. Nothing like a nice game of bridge on a rainy night. <laughs> uh, June, you show Joe where we keep the bridge table. And, June, makes no difference what he says or does, humor him. Give us a chance to plan our attack. All right, yeah. Come on. Colucci? Scrabuto. Scrabuto. <laughs> June, we're all set. You and Jackie stay in the kitchen. Now, you both know what you're going to do. I got you, Mr. Ernst. Don't forget, we go into action on the word rain. Rain. Yes. Be careful, dear. Yes. And you both be careful. Remember, he's wearing my new suit. Well, who's going to be partners? Come on, Mom. You and I will take on Pop and Hank. That sounds fair enough. Let's see how the bridge table is. Got warped last spring. Jackie left it out in the rain. Good. <laughs> time on. Come on, time. <laughs> Look out, Willie. You'll tie me, too. Oh, say, there we are. <laughs> Open the door, honey. <laughs> there, drop me. Now, lock the door, Willie. Now, I'll get the car out and go for the police. But, Mr. Irwin, your place is here with your family. I'll go for the police. Well, that's very nice of you. I insist, if you'll just let me have the key to your car. Well, thank you very much. I'll show you the way to the garage. Thank you. Isn't he a nice man? He sure is, Ma. 
Gosh, I gotta get busy on my letter to the rainy day editor. Do you know how to start it? Oh, sure. Good luck and hurry back. Don't worry about a thing. Maverick's dead. Oh, that's Jackie for you. She left the lights and the radio on. Well, so now what? I'll just have to walk to the police. Oh, no, no, no. I'll go, Mr. Irwin. No, no, you've done enough already. I insist. Only I had something to put on. I'll let you wear my raincoat. Come on in the house. I'll have words with you later. What happened, Stu? Your daughter let the battery run down. Come on. Jackie. Just what I need, another complication. Oh, Daddy, guess what happened? What's the matter with you? Uh, nothing. Why are you staring at me? I was just surprised to see a stranger in the house. Mr. Rook's grocery store was held up. We're way ahead of you. And the, the, the man who held it up is in there. We're still way... How do you know? I just saw him in the living room. Oh, that's not the man, Joy. Don't tell me. I was there when it happened. We didn't tie up the wrong fellow. Oh, dear. We better get our heads together. We have to work fast. Oh. Hey, what's keeping you? Hurry up with that raincoat. Sorry, I'll be right down. <laughs> Here you are. <laughs> it's about time. Remember, our cue is on the word rain. It was that Jackie again. Huh? Guess what she did now? What? She left the window open in her bedroom, and the rain was all over the place. Huh? Here, Billy, tie him up. Hey! Hey, what's going on? He's the real hold-up man. Ask Joyce. Huh? Yeah, that's right, Dad. I was in Rook's grocery store when it happened. You saw it? Well, then, who's that we got locked in the closet? Joe! Joe! Oh, poor old Joe. Let me get him out of there. <laughs> Oh, Joe, come on, get out of the Come on, I'll, I'll untie you. Oh, gee, uh, I'm sorry we hit you over the head, Joe. Irwin, you'll regret this the longest day you live. But, Joe... Read uh, tomorrow's Evening Chronicle, Irwin. The Evening Chronicle? Why should I read the Evening Chronicle? I... Hey, Joe, my suit! Oh, what a day. What a story! Huh? Oh. Here's a blast at our good neighbor, Irwin. Now, be a pal and don't cut out a word of it, Chief. Anything you say, Joe. You know what they did to me? Hit you over the head with a rolling pin. That's right, and they also... How did you know that? Then they tied you up and locked you in the closet. Who told you that? It's right here on the front page of the Morning Sun. How I Spent a Rainy Day by Jackie Irwin. And while you were locked up in that closet, the Irvins captured a crook wanted in three states and gave the exclusive story to the Morning Sun. One thing saves you from being the joke of the newspaper gang. I quote Miss Jackie Irwin. We never did find out who Joe was, and I guess we never will. And you say I'm not to cut out a single word? Forget it, Chief. Sometimes it looks like a fellow just can't win.